Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out the channel and for watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna be focusing on how to use one of the Azure Cognitive Services called Speech Service to do transcription of a video. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use the IS version of this, which means that we're gonna be using a virtual machine to do a lot of the heavy lifting. And then the end result is gonna be a transcription file, which is gonna show you the text from the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's also another video that I'm gonna be doing, which is the serverless approach, which means we're not going to use a virtual machine. So I hope you enjoy this video and you also check out the other video. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get to it. All right, so I am a cloud solutions architect. So the architecture is very important. In other words, the map and what we're gonna do and how we're gonna get there. So let's go ahead and look at the, the end result and then we're gonna start getting into the portal and the virtual machine. So the architecture is very important. What we have is we have a video, MP4 video. We want to use the Azure Cognitive Services. And in this case, we are going to use Speech Service. And we're gonna run that video through that speech service and we're gonna end up with a transcript.txt file. Pretty simple, right? And the question is, why would you wanna do this? Well, there's many reasons why you would wanna do this. Now, if you watched the video where I talked about OpenAI on Azure, where we take um, a text file and we run it through, through the OpenAI service and we can ask questions about that file, then you can combine the two and say, well, I can take a video I can do a transcription on the video. Now I have a text file and I can run it through the OpenAI service and I can ask questions about the video. That would be one case. I mean, there's many different um, scenarios on how you can use this, this approach, but uh, this, I will leave it up to you. But let's go ahead and get to the actual meat of this and I will make the scripts available for you to, to take with you, uh, change them as you need them, and implement it in your own way. I'm gonna make them available on GitHub. So there's gonna be a link in the, in the description section down below where you can find all those scripts, you can use them, modify them. Feel free to, 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 to do whatever you need to do with them. Okay, a little bit about the speech service in Azure. Speech is a managed service that gives you the ability to do speech to text, text to speech, and speech translation and speech recognition as well. So there's a, a, a lot of different functions that you can do. However, the one that we are going to be using is the speech to text. And if you notice, one of the things that it says here is speech to text, which means that we cannot take the video and send it to speech. What we need to do is we need to have something in between that is going to, to take the video and extract the audio. Once we have the audio, then we can send the audio to the speech service and then the speech is gonna give us the text file. Okay, so what we're gonna use to extract the audio is a, is a program called Movie PY. And I'm gonna show you, once we go into the portal, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna set this up. So what I have here is I have two virtual machines one called video transcription, which is the one that I'm going to be using for this test. Assuming that my security groups are set up correctly, I grab the uh, the public IP address and I SSH into it. Brand new VM, so I'm going to do an update on it just to make sure that it's all set up correctly. Okay, once it's done, then we can look at the files. There are no files right now that I've created. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the, the transcription. I'm gonna set up uh, two audio. So I'm gonna create a file called two audio.py. And I'm going to copy this, this information here. Uh, I'm gonna make this code available for you on my GitHub. So you can just copy paste as well. So from movie PY editor, import everything, the video file, you specify the file name that you, of the video. I'm going to be moving a file called freddydubon.mp4. And then I'm going to output a file called freddydubon.wave. 
and then this is just the, the video uh, this is specifying the video the file video file which is this now this is very important here the parameters are are very important the codec the PCM the FPS the frames per second which in this case is 16 16,000 here that means that it's a 16,000 Hertz and then also the, uh, the the other thing that is important is the bit rate the bit rate is 16,000 if you don't set this up then the audio may not be compatible with the speech service so you have to set it up as 16,000 that is very important so once we have this file hopefully the formatting is not too bad since I just copy paste from this other place here uh, all right so if we try to run it, python3 to audio.py and it's telling me that there is no video file. So let me copy the video file and I'll be right back. Okay, the the video file has been has been installed or has been transferred, so now I can move on to the next one. So I can do a python 3 to audio and of course there's other things that need to be installed the, the the movie py needs to be installed so i need to do a pip install but i don't have pip so i need to install that so app get sudo app get install python 3 pip Okay, and installing movie py. Once that is done, then we can run the command again. Python. Let's do an ls just to see which files we have. Okay, so only two files. So Python three to audio run. And what it does is it takes that file and it creates a WAV file. So now that WAV file is the one that we can take and throw it into the, the speech service. Now we can move to the next one, which is we are going to move it to the speech service. Okay, so now that the file has been, um, that the audio has been taken out of the video, so now we have this WAV file here. The next thing is we're gonna transcribe it and here is the transcribed file that we're going to use this is the one that you see here on the right hand side and this code will be available on the on the github so you can just go in and copy and paste and change it um, here where it says your key that is going to be your key uh, from the speech service and i'm going to show you what <clears throat> excuse me where you can get that so if i try to run this file right now python 3 transcribe what's going to tell me is because this is a brand new vm it's going to tell me that the import um, it, the module is not found so what I need to do is I need to do a pip install Azure cognitive services speech and what that's going to do is it's going to install the co Azure cognitive services so now if I run this file again Python 3 transcribe it's gonna go in and it's probably gonna fail because the the key that I'm using excuse me the key that I'm using is an old key so I don't think that key is gonna work anymore so it's just gonna sit here and not do absolutely anything so let's go to the portal and let's go to the Azure speech services which is already here and as you can see I don't have anything here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna create gonna ask me for a resource group so I will just use any resource group that I may have here region I'm gonna select central US the name Freddy speech okay pricing tier there's only two pricing tiers the free and the standard uh, the, the if you look at the pricing details the pricing details it says that the standard um, the free gives you five hours of free per month five hours five audio hours of free per month 
and so if depending on which one you want to do speech to text is the one that we're going to be using so that that would cover for us here um, or you can do as pay, <coughs> pay as you go as well so speech to text the standard is one dollar per audio hour and so you can see the pricing here depending on what you're going to do the one that we're going to use is we're going to use the free free tier because we what we have is that one is going to work fine for us so next thing is going to be the network right now i'm going to leave it open to all networks including the intranet review and create and create deployment succeeded i have an endpoint um, i also i can go to keys and endpoints and here's the key that we are going to use copy this and here is where you're going to put your key run it again so this video that we're transcribing it's about a 10 minute video maybe a little bit longer than 10 minutes so it will take a little bit to transcribe the video so just be patient uh, eventually it'll come back with a transcription.txt file this transcription.txt is the transcript of the video so it's just the text so in this case, it's one of my videos where I explain how ChatGPT saved my dad's life. So the point is that, as you can see, the transcription is here. One of the things that you have to understand is that this transcription does not contain any time, uh, time code or uh, time stamps. It's just one big text file. Now, one of the things that, uh, that I want to point out in the, um, in the code here is if you go to the code itself, you can see that I did not specify a an endpoint. I did specify my key, which is here. Um, of course, you're going to have to specify your key, but I didn't specify the endpoint. And the reason is I did specify the service region. And because you in when you install the Azure Cognitive Services um, package, that will have a standard endpoint so if you don't specify an endpoint it'll use the standard endpoint for that region so it'll take the central us it'll get this the standard uh, endpoint and it'll use the key to log in and so in other words this code works not because i specify the endpoint just because it knows what the standard endpoint is so for now what can we do with this uh, I have another video where, 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 where I talk about ChatGPT, where it takes a text file and then you can ask questions about that file. So can you take this text file and use that other code to send it to ChatGPT and ask questions about the video? Of course, that's the whole idea. So you can take this transcription, that text file, put it into the, into the um, other code that I gave you in the other video, and now you have a you know, you have a workflow, you have where the video turns into text, you can send it to ChatGPT and you can ask questions about that video using ChatGPT. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the IS approach, which means that we're using a virtual machine to do a lot of the work. There's also another video that if you haven't watched, it, watch that one, please do so, which is a serverless approach. That one, we, we use um, Azure Logic Apps to be able to do the orchestration of the functions so if you haven't done so please check that video out as well if you haven't done so subscribe to the channel and until next time take care